Hi, everybody. Can you hear me? I guess you can't. <laughs> You're not in the class, so even if you can hear me, you can't tell me that you can. <laughs> uh, my name is Lorraine. We're going to um, be looking at the language used for uh, giving and receiving. And then we're going to be talking about uh, some of the best gifts that we've given and some of the best gifts that we have received. So I'm just waiting for people to be able to join the class. I see we have uh, Unai and Nina and Daniel. John, hello everybody. Okay. the longest two minutes you have to wait. <laughs> Just waiting for everyone to be able to join the class. Okay, here we go. Great. Hello. Hi, Mina. Who else do we have? Welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm just trying to see who I'm talking to here. If you could say your name. Yeah, my name is Shreen. I'm sorry, there. How do you say that? Huyen. Huyen? Yeah. Welcome, Huyen. Thank you. And Domenico? Hello? Yeah. No. There, okay. Quinn and Mina. Hello, Mina. I'm not hey, any... <laughs> Was that Mina? Yes. There, okay. Got you that time. And, oh. Again, I have so much trouble with your name. I'm so sorry. If you could say it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my name is Ngang. Ngang? Yeah. I'm going to write that down phonetically. Yeah. There, okay. Nice to see you. Welcome, Ngang. Nice to see you again, too. Okay. Um, I think we'll, uh, we'll get started. And who all do we have? Uh, Dina. Hi, Dina. Yes, hello. Hello, where are you from, Dina? I'm from Egypt. From Egypt, very nice. Is it warm in Egypt at this time of year? Sorry? Is it warm, the weather? Yes, it's warm. It's warm? Okay, it's yes, very somehow, cold here. Somehow warm. <laughs> okay, and Domenico, where are you from? Uh, I'm Italy. In from Italy, Italy. okay. Yes. Welcome. <laughs> Thank and you. Huen, <laughs> where are you from? Um, I'm from Vietnam. From Vietnam, okay, very nice. And Nina, where are you from? Land of pyramids. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Egypt, Egypt. Egypt, okay, thank you. Oh, land of pyramids, ah, gotcha. Very nice. Have you seen the pyramids? Yes. Yes. Of course. <laughs> well, sometimes we don't see what's right in our own backyards. <laughs> well, it was once. It was for five minutes. Okay. And uh, Nyang, where were you from? Yes, I come from Vietnam. Vietnam as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to get up my screen share, and I have. A little thing on giving and receiving. Actually, before I get started on this, I wanted to tell you a story. I forgot. I'm going to just close this to tell you the story. And there. Oh, go away, screen share. How do I close it? 
There is the time. There it goes. <laughs> okay, got it. All right. So I'm going to tell you a little story about a gift that I gave. Um, the best gift I ever gave somebody. It was to my mother. And I was in my early 20s. And I had been talking to my mother on the phone. And we had an argument. And I hung up on her. And then I didn't speak to her for, oh, maybe six months. And I felt very bad. I, I thought, we shouldn't leave it like this. It, she's angry with me. I'm angry with her. But we need to make up. So um, it was Mother's Day. I bought her some um, little plaques to put on the wall. And I went to her house, and I knocked on the door. And she opened the door and saw me standing there. And she burst into tears, and she hugged me. And we made it all up. And she put those wall plaques on her wall, and they're still there today. So that was my best gift that I ever gave. Um, so I'd like to hear some other people's. Uh, Dina, what is the best gift you ever gave someone? Um, I think it's a gift for my mother too. Yes. Uh, I used to think too much what uh, I should what I should get to her in the Mother's Day. Right. And, and yes, and in her first day too. Um, but uh, I felt so happy when uh, she, when she, when she is happy with the gift. Right. Yes, I felt that I succeeded to get something she likes. <laughs> and what was the gift? It depends, but it depends on um, what what uh, what she needs in this time. Okay, but I wondered if you could tell me one particular time or one specific time when you yes, gave... Yes, uh, the, the last year I uh, bought a sunglasses. Okay. To her and she liked, uh, liked it uh, so much. Oh, good. Okay, that's great. Um, Gwen, what about you? Yeah, I think the best gift I have ever given away was to give to my brother. One for me and one for him. Okay. So like we can be like identical. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay. And Iris, welcome. Hi. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. Where are you from, Iris? Uh, I'm from Taiwan. Oh, welcome. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Have you heard the question? The question is, um, what was the best gift you ever gave someone? Oh, okay. Um, I give a uh, cosmetic to my mom uh, last Mother's Day. Okay. Very good. All right. Super. Uh, thank and you. And <laughs> Mina, what about you? What was the best gift that you have ever given? Mm, I can't remember. Maybe uh, I gave my friend a BC personal computer. Oh, very nice. Wow. Okay. That's yeah. excellent. And Young? No. I think uh, the best gift I ever gave is to uh, my mother. I um, uh, celebrated um, uh, her birthday party and uh, the mm -hmm. special thing uh, um, that I used uh, the money from uh, on my uh, scholarship. Okay. Yeah. Very good. And Sarav, welcome. Sarav, can you hear me? Am I saying your name right, Sarav? Well, I can see him, but I don't know if he can hear me. Hello? <laughs> Oh, your mouth is ta is moving, but I can't hear you. I think there's something wrong with your microphone. Okay. We have a new person who's joined. Okay. Let's see. 
Okay. I'm sorry. I can't even begin to try and pronounce your name. Saya Goeth? Hello? Diego. Diego? Hello? Hello? Yeah. <laughs> That's Diego? Is that how you pronounce your name? <laughs> okay. Well, got really quiet. I'll go back to my screen share now. Oops. Giving and receiving. Right. Okay, so we were talking about okay. giving in the... Yeah, um, yeah. Hello? Um, no, really. It's... It's here. I, you're kind of going in and out. I can't hear you very well. Um, yes, Can you hear me good. now? And can you pronounce your name? Okay, nice so nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Oh, Tiago. Ti Tiago. Right. Right, Tiago. Okay. See if I can remember that. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a very basic lesson. I'm just listening to your English, which is very good. So it will be a review for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, the verb to give, is it a regular verb or an irregular verb? Anybody? It's a regular verb. Regular. Okay. Irregular. So, irregular, yes. Irregular verb. So, the base verb, um, that first sentence, how would you um, use the word to give in that sentence? I um, give. Okay, Dina, do you want to answer this one? Yes. I give her flowers every week. Right. I, I give. gave my... Uh, okay, no, just the one. I answer just, all questions? Okay. No, just the one. Give other people a chance to. Right. Okay. And, oh, darn. I get too clicky here. There. Uh, okay, Domenico, can you do the next one? Uh... I gave my brother a kit. The word is kite. Gate. Gate. Kite. K kite. K kite. Yes, kite. That's right. Kite. Okay. Do you know what a kite is? Uh, yes. Kite. Yes, a kite. It's the thing that you um, you get into the air and fly it on a string. A kite. So yes, I gave my brother a kite. Very good. And um, when can you do the next one? Yes, I have given. I have given you a new book. Okay. So the past participle is given. Good. <clears throat> now we have some pictures, and we're going to guess. That's a really good guess. Um, but the man in the picture doesn't look very ill. Does anybody know when small children come and give a man stuff? It's usually breakfast. That's what's happening Father's in this Day, one. Maybe. Yeah, Father's, Father's Day. Day. It's a very common thing in North America anyway. And I, I'm from Canada, and we do it in Canada. And also I know that it's done in the States where children will make their dad breakfast and bring it to him in bed for Father's Day. <laughs> I eat it too. Funny, funny little custom. <laughs> uh, okay, um, Nung, what about uh, picture C? What do you think is happening there? What occasion? Yeah. Uh, two children uh, give a um, uh, gift uh, to um, uh, their mother on in uh, Mother's Day. On Mother's Day, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And uh, um, Chia oh boy, I Chia have go. to read. Tiago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. At all. Uh, um, <laughs> that's D, right? Um, yeah, picture D. Okay. What's happening there? Uh, it might be their fifth um, anniversary anniversary wedding. 
Okay, so there's a 5 and a 0, so it's not their fifth, it's their... What's the number here? 50? Five, zero, 50, yeah. So All it's right. an older couple, and it's their 50th. What's the name of that we give to that? Uh, um, wedding anniversary? Anniversary, yeah. Perfect. Anniversary. Good. Uh, do you have a, a specific name? Because in Brazil, uh, we might call it um, uh, golden, golden anniversary. Yeah, there are things like that, but I don't know what they are. <laughs> I know that, <laughs> like, I think five years is like the paper anniversary. Um, right. There's a silver anniversary and a gold anniversary. I don't know what where yeah. what they are. In my family, we don't um, we don't bother with that. Although, I know that um, many other people do in uh, in Canada and in the United States, and maybe other places in the world. You can tell me. Yeah. So we're just going to do some. Uh, um, what do you call that? For me, it's early morning, so I'm not thinking very well. Definitions. <laughs> so we're just going to match up the definition with the special date. So a birthday. What describes a birthday the best? Uh, Iris? Okay. Birthday. The day that is an exact year or number of years after something important happened. Do you think that is the correct um, we, there, it, it may be any one of these four, so read them all and choose the one that best describes a birthday. Our birthday, okay. Uh, uh, no, the day a person was born or the anniversary of a person's birth. Okay, so that's yes. Nice. That's the right one. Good yeah. job. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, Tiago, how about doing anniversary? Since right. we were talking about anniversaries. <laughs> All right. Uh, third Sunday in June in North America when people express love and appreciation for their fathers. Okay, but that doesn't really describe anniversary oh, very well. I'm sorry. So I'm that's sorry. all right. Just look through and find the one that works best. Uh, okay, the day that is an exact year or number of years after something important happened. That's the one. Perfect. Very good. Okay. Nyang, <laughs> um, how about Mother's Day? Which one is Mother's Day? Um, I can see anything. Yep. It's not oh, you, clear for me. You can't clear. Okay, I'll go on to somebody else. Um, Mina, can you read what's on the screen? Yes, barely. Second Sunday in May in North America, mm -hmm. uh, when people express love and appreciation for their mother. That's right. Very good. And the last one, of course, uh, Domenico. Can you Father tell me Day. the last one? Yes. Father Day is uh, third Sunday in June in North America when people express love and appreciation for their fathers. Okay, exactly. Um, is Mother's Day and Father's Day in your country on the same days that they are in North America? Uh, Anybody? Anybody know? Yes, in my country yeah. we haven't any Father's Day, but uh, the Mother's Day is on the 21st of March. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. um, anybody else? Something different? Yeah, Mother's, Mother's Day is the same day here in Brazil. Uh, same day as which? As the uh, North America one? Yeah. The second yeah. Sunday in May? Okay. Y yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Uh, in Italy, there are the, the this day, Mother and Father Day, but I not remember the, the exactly days. Uh, sorry, <laughs> maybe you, I think. 
I think that uh, between March and April. Okay, so in the spring as well. All right, yeah. good. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to go back a, a slide. Did um, people get the um, PDF file uh, worksheet that uh, I had on the on the site? Because we're going to go through those uh, questions and put the correct um, give or receive in the in the in the spots. Okay, so we'll start there. The number one. Uh, oh, welcome, Yada. Are you there? Hello. Hello. Welcome. Nice <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where are Hello, you everybody. from? I'm from Mexico. From Me Mexico. Okay. Very good. Welcome. Thank you. Um, okay. So, let's see. Iris, can you do number one okay. for me? Okay. Um... Um, so, um, I, um, no matter. I get my mother and expensive Mother's Day present, but I couldn't afford, afford it. Okay, do you know what is meant by afford? afford. I couldn't. I couldn't afford it. Do you understand what that means? Yes, uh, because I don't have much money to buy it. Okay. So, um, to say I gave my mother an expensive Mother's Day present, but I couldn't afford it, I suppose that works as a sentence. But mm -hmm. if you couldn't afford it, then you could not buy it. So, you may have wanted to give, I want to give. The give. Oh, okay. I wanted to give, but I couldn't I, afford it. I want to give. Okay. Okay. So it was something you wanted to do. You saw the nice gift. You knew your mother would really like it. But when you went to your bank account, there wasn't enough money to buy it. So I wanted to give my mother an expensive Mother's Day present, but I couldn't afford it. Okay. Does that make sense? Oh, yes, thank okay. you. Good. Uh, okay, so uh, who do we have here? Gwen, can you do number two? Yes. Joe gave Lisa a beautiful ring on their anniversary. Anniversary. Okay. Could you repeat? I didn't hear the first part. Joe gave Lisa a beautiful ring on their anniversary. Perfect. That's right. So it's something that he did, and it's in the past. He's done it, and Lisa has her ring. Joe gave it to her. Okay, um, okay Tiago, can you do uh, number three? Sure. Uh, Ken received hockey skates for his... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's a little blur here. And, okay. Uh, um, and w uh, we should we should uh, change the sentence, right? Um, it up at the top of the page. Can you read the uh, the different things you can put in? Yeah. Actually, you may have the um, the uh, worksheet as well. I don't know, but it's going to be one of those um, phrases. Mm. Yeah. Um, so Ken wants to receive hawk skates for his next birthday. That's right. That's the one. He wants to. He hasn't got them yet, and he may not get them. It depends. But that's what he wants to get. Okay, good. Um, Yada, can you see the screen? Would you like to do number four? Yeah. Number four. I.
gave my father something special for Father's Day? That is a good sentence and that works, but we've already oh, yeah. used gave, so you'll have to choose another one. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I want to give my father something special for Father's Day. That's the right one. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. Uh, who haven't I picked on recently? Uh, Domenico, can you do number five? Yes. Uh, Lily uh, received a box of chocolates on her birthday last Thursday. That's right. Perfect. All right. Dina, can you do number six? Yes. Is it okay to give uh, to give gift certificates? Yeah. yeah. Say the whole thing. Can you read yes, it? And it? Yes. Oh, you're having trouble with the word. Instead. And instead. In a state of presence for an anniversary. Okay. The screen wasn't clear. wasn't so clear. That's why yeah. I. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I time. understand. Um, I don't know how to make it any clearer. I guess the next time I could do the um, the letters larger. Would that help? Yes. Uh, and. Or is it just blurry? Because I don't know how it looks on your screen. Yes, maybe we can download the. Anyway, the you got it right. Yes. Yeah, the, but you do have the um, the worksheet. I had it as a PDF that you can download and use. This is just to give you the answers so that you know how to fill it in. Okay, and the last one. What do we have here? Ibrahim. Ibrahim? Is that how you pronounce your name? Welcome. Hello? <laughs> Not sure if he's there. Okay, uh, Nung, can you see this on your screen? Nung, are you there? Nung? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello. Okay, who is that? I am there. Who is I? <laughs> Who was the last person to speak? Could you say your name? My name is Ibrahim. Ah, there you are. Okay, very good. Can you see the screen, uh, Ibrahim, um, and read the last number seven with the correct uh, conjugation of give or receive? Okay. 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 I missed what you said for the blank. Alice, what did she want to do? Oh, okay. Alice, uh, uh, I not. Uh, I, I can't see uh, the word uh, above. Uh, the okay, at the top, you can't see the words. Can anybody else see the the uh, words and which one should go in there? I think it's received. Alice received flowers instead of gifts this past Mother's Day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we'd already used received, 
so wanted to receive flowers instead of gifts okay so what do you think she actually received this past Mother's Day anybody another gift yeah she got a gift instead of flowers she wanted to receive flowers instead of gifts this past Mother's Day okay so it's in the past and um, she wanted to receive flowers she got a gift does that make sense yeah. anybody have a yeah. question <laughs> okay great so to receive receive is a very formal way of saying uh, to receive something is formal is it a regular or an irregular verb? Regular verb. Irregular. Regular verb, that's regular. right. Regular. Yeah, regular. What other word could we use instead of receive that would be more informal? Take. Anybody? Pardon? Eight. Eight? Cake. Cake. Um, can you spell it? Put it in the in the message board so I can see. Um, no, take it. Yeah, get. Get is the right word. Take is something um, you would you would pick it up would be the same as taking, but receive and get is something that somebody has has given to you instead of you taking it. Is that now? Well, anyway, to get it's informal. Is it a regular or an irregular verb? Irregular. 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 That's right. So, I receive letters from her every week. So, what would I replace "receive" with there? Anybody? I mean, informal. Yes. Receive. Okay. So we're going to change "receive" to something else. I letters from her every week. I get letters. Yes, I get letters, letters from from her every week. Right. Okay. She received two books for her collection. So what would we change received to? She, she got, got two books. She got. she got, that's right. She got two books for her collection. They had received the presents from their parents. They had got. Mm. Got or gotten. Got or gotten. That's right. Gotten. They had gotten the presents from their parents. Okay. So, receive is formal, but it's easy because it's a regular verb, so it's easier to conjugate. Um, to get is more informal. You would use that with your friends um, in a normal, everyday English speaking, um, but it is a little bit more difficult because it's Mother. irregular. Mother. Ryan. Is somebody speaking? Weird. Okay. So that's it for the slideshow. Oops. Shouldn't have done that, I guess. Okay. All right. My screen is very slow today. I'm trying to get back to there. Okay, there we go. All right, so some questions here for discussion. Uh, in your country, on what occasion do people give gifts? So, um, Tiago, could you answer that one? Uh, yeah, mainly in uh, birthdays or anniversaries, um, Mother's Day, uh, Valentine's, um, or you when you when you have. Uh, 
when you argue with your wife and you want to make up. <laughs> <laughs> and what kind of gift would you give for that? <laughs> Flowers, basically. Flowers. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's so typical. Everybody does that one. That's good. Yeah. Who is that? Uh, Ibrahim, is it different for you in your country? I'm, I'm, from, uh, I'm from Jordan. I uh, get uh, my wife a uh, gold r r ring. A gold ring? For when you have a fight with her? <laughs> <laughs> uh, for uh, my wife. Yes. Uh, for what occasion would you get her a ring? A ring from... Uh, from... Oh, okay, I'm hearing myself. <laughs> so, uh, so from uh, gold store. Yes, but um, do you get her a ring for Valentine's Day, for her birthday? What occasion? Those are all different occasions. For uh, an anniversary. An anniversary. Wedding. Anniversary. Wedding. Yes, a wedding anniversary. Good. Okay, um, Dina. Yes. Um, are gifts ever homemade in your country? Would it be appropriate for somebody to make a gift to give somebody else, or do um, people always buy them? Some of people um, um, make their their gifts by their own. Okay. If they. Uh, if they know how to make it, but uh, others uh, just buy it. Okay. For me, I, I I'm uh, for me I buy it all. When uh -huh. I want to give someone a gift, uh, yes, I'm uh, always buying it. You buy it, okay? Yes. <coughs> um, do children give gifts to adults at any time? Like I guess for Mother's Day, for Father's Day, do the children? buy the gifts or do they make them? Dina? Yes. That question. No, they, oh, yes, they, they, buy, <laughs> they bought them. Even the children? Okay. Yes. When I was a child, I, I, I bought it. I bought them always. Okay. And Iris, what yes. about in your country? Um, do children make or buy gifts for their mother at Mother's Day? Okay, uh, sometimes the teacher will uh, teach students, uh, kids how to make cards uh, at, okay. uh, at the school and uh, uh, send it to their parents. Parents? Yes. Yes. Good, okay. What is a common gift for um, people to give family members? like? At um, mm, for a birthday, would you? What would you give a brother or a sister? What is common? Um, Mina, can you answer that one? Sure. Well, I prefer to uh, give someone a gift that he will, you know, it's, uh, benefits for him. You know. Right. Oh um, yeah, he's going to use it. Not just uh, something you are going to hang on the wall. Right. Something you will put in the drawer. Right. You want something that they'll actually use. Yes. Yeah. Good. Excellent. Okay, Nyang, in your country, at what age do children start to give gifts to their parents? Nyang, are you there? I'm hearing a lot of background noise. Hello? Hello? From uh, one, one year. 
Um, who is speaking? I can't see who's speaking. Ibrahim. Oh, okay. There you are. Okay. At about one year. Who picks out a gift for um, a child who is one year old is going to give to somebody else? A, a one year old child would have difficulty um, choosing a gift for someone. So somebody would have to give it to the one year old to give to the, the parent. Is that correct? We usually give kids money. But um, the question I'm asking is how old would you be before you would start to give a present yourself to your mother, for instance? When I was, when I was about five years old was when I would start to give presents to my mother and my father. Before yes. that, I was too young. May I say something? As long as I get the bucket money, I should uh, buy her a gift. Okay. Uh, Yara, yes? Miss Ellen, in, in my country, when um, they are six, could be because uh, their elementary school, they uh, made uh, their own gifts for their mother or their their fathers. Right. Okay. Maybe. So, yeah, that that's that makes a lot of sense to me because they're making their own gifts. They don't have money yet, usually, unless somebody has given them some money. I remember when I was um, about that age, five or six, my mother would give me money to go and buy Christmas presents for my uh, for my brothers. So, yeah. That, yeah. Okay, what was the best gift that you have ever received from anybody? It was the most amazing gift that you have ever received. Dina, can you think of something? I'm thinking. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll come back to you, all right? All right. Domenico? Uh, could you repeat, please? Uh, yes. Yes. The very best gift that you have ever received from anybody. Ah, uh, what was it? This uh, this Christmas uh, I have received the the the, the coffee machine. Ah, coffee uh, machine. For, yes, for, uh, <laughs> for us is is uh, is very important. Yes, uh, me too. Yes. <laughs> Gotta espresso. have my coffee. Oh, an espresso. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's <Yep>. a very... <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this is uh, for me the the best uh, the best present. It's okay. a professional machine. <laughs> oh, very nice. Okay, <laughs> Dina, have you got yeah. something yet? Yes, I uh, I think it's my wedding ring. I'm sorry, your what? Wedding ring, or marriage okay. ring. Your wedding ring is that what you said? Yes. Okay. What uh, what kind of a, a wedding ring is it? Is it a plain ring or fancy? It's a, it's a gold ring. Okay. And when did you get married? Um, one uh, one year ago. One year ago. Well, very yes. good. Okay. That would be special. Yes. Um, <laughs> Abraham. What about you? The very best gift that you ever received. Hello. Hello. Can you tell me the very best gift you ever received? I I, I get married before uh, five years. Yes. We're talking about a gift that you received, something somebody gave you that was very special for you. Okay, 
the best the best the best okay I'm getting a lot of crosstalk there I'm going to move on Iris yes what was the very most best gift that you ever received from anybody okay uh, when I was at my 20 years old birthday I got a cute dog from my boyfriend a uh, dog wow dog, yes very cute <laughs> <laughs> what was his name the dog not the uh, boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> his, name, his name is lucky lucky yes. what what kind of dog uh, it's a small small dog very small <laughs> Very small, but you don't know the breed of dog? A breed? The kind? A poodle, um, a Pomeranian, um, Chihuahua. Chihuahua. <laughs> all, <laughs> all little dogs. <laughs> like a Chihuahua? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. And his name is Lucky. Well, that's, that's a lovely present to get. Yes. Great. Mina? Yes. What was the very best present that you ever got from somebody? Well, I was a kid and my uncle um, gave me a, a train. Okay, your uncle gave, train. gave gave you a train. Yeah, he gave me a train. Okay, it's gave. The word is gave. Okay, I'll write it. It's the past yeah, tense of the, give. The past, yeah. yeah. My uncle yes. gave me a train. Yes. yes. Very good. My pronunciation. <laughs> Do you still have that train? Of course not. So little <laughs> pieces now. <laughs> well, sometimes people keep things like that forever. <laughs> no, no, okay, I wasn't that you. kind of kid. <laughs> All right. Young, what yeah. was the best gift that you ever got from somebody? Hello? I think my best gift I ever got received from my boyfriend. Um, he gave me uh, a trip um, to a plus Yeah. He gave you a, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear what you said. A trip. A trip. A trip? Yeah. Where? Uh, uh, go to Dala. It's uh, very famous in Vietnam. Could you write the name of the place? Okay. Dala. Okay. Yeah. And how long were you there? Um, the last year, and uh, in um, three days. Three days. For three days. Okay, yeah. very nice. That's good. Yeah. Okay, Jago? Yes, Lorraine? <laughs> what was the <laughs> best gift that you ever received from somebody? Uh, I was thinking about that and I remember uh, once uh, my, my wife, uh, that time she was my girlfriend and she gave me a ring. But not oh. that kind of ring. She called me, uh, <laughs> and it was, <laughs> it a was phone call. <laughs> yeah, phone call. Right. It was the best gift that time because I really needed it. You know, because I was very uh, anxious and worried about a situation, and she talked to me and was pretty good. So oh. I liked it. How long had you been um, boyfriend and girlfriend at that time? Uh, two years, yeah, uh, maybe two years. Okay. No, we, we've got 11 years we are together, so. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. were you in different cities? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, I used to live in, in another city. And okay. She used to live in her hometown. Okay. Now we're together. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> yeah, no more long distance phone calls. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, that's great. Uh, Yada? 
What was the best gift that you have ever received? The best and more significant are the cards that my children uh, made for for me. Yes. Because they wrote um, things very, very wonderful. Oh, nice. That feelings that um, important to me. Okay, yeah. Things from children are always special. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Um, it, do people in your countries, and let me go back to me here, talking to you, um, do people in your countries give any gift to their bosses at work? Is that anything that is a common practice? Anybody? Um, Tago? Uh, I'll be right something here. <laughs> okay, I'll give you a second. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's it's hard, you know. It depends on the relationship you have with your boss, because sometimes your coworkers might see it as you're trying to butter him up. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, it, it depends. It depends the relationship the relationship he has with everybody. Right. Like, so. It's very um, tricky. What would be an occasion where you would give a gift to a boss, like um, at a Christmas party or yeah, his something birthday. like that? His birthday? Yeah. Yeah. I think okay. that you have some exact dates. To do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anybody else um, have that as something that was done in their country to give a, um, a gift of some sort to your boss? Okay. okay. Ibrahim? Okay. Ibrahim, you seem to be very echo echoey. I'm I don't hear you, I just hear me talking on your uh, screen. Are you there? Okay, I'm going to move on. Uh, uh, Domenico, uh, is is there any time that you would give a gift to a boss? No, absolutely. <laughs> uh, no, 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 never, never present uh, for my boss. No. Okay. Yeah, I would say it's similar in Canada. We don't have. Um, we don't have a common thing of, of giving presents to bosses. Um, at Christmas time, sometimes we have a uh, gift exchange where you would draw somebody's name and you would give a gift to that person that you drew the name of. Um, and if you got your boss, obviously, you would give a gift to your boss. Hmm. Okay. okay, last question. What is the most interesting thing that you learned about somebody else in this class about gift giving? Anybody want to tackle that one? Anything you learned about somebody else and their what they got as a gift or something that stuck in your mind? Could could you repeat again, Lorraine, please? Yes. Let me see if I can make it a little more succinct here. What was the most interesting thing you learned about gift giving in, uh, okay, let's say uh, in Yada, Yada's country? Something you learned about Yada. Um, Do you remember what her most favorite gift was? Uh, she got a um, card, a letter, a card from their kids. I That's think. right. Yeah, I, you're right. It was cards. That's correct, Yada? Yeah. Yeah, okay. 
Iris, what about you? What did you learn about somebody else uh, in this class? Um, I learned uh, um, a trip, a trip to somewhere, uh, or uh, uh, I don't know how to pronounce the, the name. E A O. Jago. Jago. Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jago. Oh, yeah. I remember. Uh, uh he yeah. said that he. Happy machine. Uh, he said that he um. Uh, uh, gave a ring to your wife, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Exactly. That's right. But what was the ring? It wasn't a a ring you put on the finger. What was the ring? Uh, <laughs> gold. Gold ring. No, that wasn't what uh, Tiago did. It was a different kind of ring. Different kind. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I don't remember. Okay. Very special one. <laughs> it was a phone call. Oh, he phone got, call. He got a phone call from his girlfriend. Oh, At that time, he really needed to hear her voice and, and really needed her support. So oh. it was a very special phone call. And sometimes when um, we're talking about phone calls, we say, um, I'll ring you tonight. It means I will call you tonight. So ring and call mean the same thing in oh. that sense. So he was making a what we call a play on words, saying ring for phone call. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> very good. Um, I'm afraid we're out of time. Um, this hour has gone really, really fast. But thank you all for joining the class, and uh, I will be teaching again next Wednesday morning, as well as a couple of times tonight. And well, it's Wednesday morning for me. <laughs> I don't know what it is for you. And also on Saturday. So um, have a great day, and thanks for joining. And you guys did awesome. Thank you, Lorraine, very thank much. Okay. I appreciate that. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye. Thank you, Lorraine. Thanks, class. Bye. Very thanks. Bye. See ya. Okay, bye bye.